So we got some breaking and exciting news if we were really waiting for this X documentary. Cause it's just been announced instead of the documentary coming out on June 10th, it's gonna come out even earlier on May 26th this year. And a documentary will premiere on Hulu. Now a big reason why I think they pushed it up earlier is cause they really got good reviews about this film. With one of them being IMDB giving it an 8.7 out of 10. And another reason why I think it's gonna come out early is cause the Juice and X song. They teased their collaboration on X's profile a couple weeks ago. Which means the song's probably finished and they're just waiting for a release date. And there's a good chance that song might be on the soundtrack of the documentary. Now to my surprise, there's a snippet of this song out there and it's been surfacing through social media and a lot of fans not really feeling it. Waterfalls on leak.cx Waterfalls on leak.cx Waterfalls on leak.cx And I don't think a lot of fans are upset because this song sounds bad, but a lot of Juice WRLD fans are more so upset about this because they know the vocals to that song is from another song called Inner Peace by Juice WRLD, which is an unreleased track that they ain't never dropped. And I low key kind of figured they would do this mashup where they would just take an X verse and a Juice WRLD verse and mash them together. But I'm really not that upset about this, especially hearing that X's verse is unheard. I just know the song's gonna be beautiful regardless. Now, there is another song with them together where Juice WRLD, he actually did his verse on this song called The Woe Remix, which is the song that was on X's first posthumous album Skin. Where Juice WRLD himself, he actually did a completed verse for this song And a lot of his fan base would rather have that song come out since it's more organic And it at least feels like it's a song that one of the artists actually made with the other artist And it's not just some random verse or a matchup that the record label did Which I could see their point of view and why they want this song to come out But being honest with you in my opinion I would rather have the other song to come out Where they're using the unheard X vocals Cause I feel like now it would be dumb for them to drop a remix three and a half years later After the song came out in December 2018 And the hype and anticipation wouldn't be as high Cause you gotta understand that if you're a Juice WRLD fan There's a small group of y'all that only listen to that unheard inner piece first It's not like everybody knows about it and it's already been released Because the leak community is still relatively small compared to the mainstream And their record labels is looking at the bigger picture Knowing that a unheard X verse is probably worth more than an unreleased Juice WRLD verse that's already been leaked. Cause we all know how rare new X music is. And I also look at it like this, why can't we just have both songs? Where after they drop the collaboration between Juice and X, somebody can leak the Woe Minding All remix and just put it on SoundCloud or something. So that way fans they can enjoy which song they prefer better. Instead of just being angry about this collaboration coming out. But yeah, these are my thoughts and opinions on this whole situation right here. And since the documentary date got pushed up for nearly two weeks, do you think it's cause of the collaboration that Juice WRLD and X have coming out soon? And let me know if you're really excited about that song coming out or you'd rather have a Woe Mind and All remix. But be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a nice day. And it isn't complete. What being a boss is really about.